Hi, this is Isabel Litzter. So this video is about cover letters. So I talked about in previous videos the importance of doing a Swiss style application with a Swiss style CV and, uh, and a nice cover letter. So this video is particularly covering the, the important aspect of what you need to put in there, what's, what's important. So there's three tips I will give you today to write a nice cover letter to make sure that you have something that's going to attract the attention of the recruiter. So the first tip is really that you need to, uh, to do this. You can bypass the cover letter even though you may hear through the grapevine that cover letter is no longer to be used, that it's not relevant, people don't look at it, so you can just skip it or maybe do something very basic. I would not do this unless you really know for sure, which most of the time you don't. So out of doubt, I think it's better to do a nice cover letter because you don't know who's reading it, what they're going to drive as a conclusion. So, uh, so take the time basically, even if that means doing less applications, but at least quality applications. So that's for the first tip. The second tip is to follow some type of structure. So I post below the link to a website I found on cover letters. It's more American style, but at least you have the wording. Another site I put down below where you can find wording is wordle.net. Uh, you can find words based on your resume that are your keywords. I usually encourage people to put their keywords in their cover letter about their main skills, what it is that they know how to do well, but again, it needs to be linked to the job. So I'll give you an example. If you've had many jobs, let's say finance, marketing, uh, you've done a lot of things, supply chain, uh, uh, you've got maybe four or five different types of jobs in different industries and the particular job you're applying for is marketing. Then in the cover letter, you don't want to talk about all your experiences in finance and supply chain. You want to talk about marketing. So find an example that really illustrates your marketing uh, efforts and why it's relevant to this position. So what I do with candidates when we work together is really focus on the need of the organization because this is something most people don't do. They tend to focus on themselves, what I've done, where, where I graduated, and they have a huge, huge resume that's four, five, six pages sometimes of things they've done. But how is that helping solve the company issue? It's not. Uh, it's just you. It's great. You have experience. You've, uh, you've done some great things, but it's not helping the company. So in your cover letter, there's no need to do a two-page cover letter where you're explaining all the projects you've handled since birth. You need to really focus on the problem you're trying to solve with this particular position you're applying for. And then the last part of the cover letter is going to be about closing nicely. And when I say closing nicely, I mean that you're not putting yourself in a needy position, meaning I'm looking forward to talking to you or you know, waiting for your reply or something like that. You're closing in a very uh, same type of uh, level as them. So you're saying, you know, looking forward to working together or looking forward to building this project together. But this is more partnership, not you positioning yourself below. So that's very important from the beginning because no one wants to hire someone that's desperate to work there. Companies are looking for the best people for the job. They're looking for people usually who are already working probably in the same industry somewhere else. Uh, they're looking for people who are brilliant in what they do and who can give them su sustainable, great performance. So if you're someone who hasn't worked in many years or, you know, you're, you're down on your job search, you know, morally, physically, etc., it's going to come across as, as needy. So again, if you're experiencing this right now, maybe you've been looking for a job for a long time, you're a little bit down on your morale. Uh, this is something I've talked about also with a recruiter that happens to a lot of job seekers. The job search in Switzerland tends to be long and I always give the timeline of a year, which is huge for expats who come from very dynamic countries where sometimes recruitment is done really fast. Uh, Switzerland is a country where things tend to go a little bit slower. Uh, and depending on the industry, you know, if there's many people involved uh, and sometimes they change also the job description or they find someone internally, there's lots of things that can happen. So this is why when I get the question, you know, how long it takes, you know, of course a year, that's long. And then the second remark I usually get is how fast, you know, can I get a job? Can I be guaranteed a job? There's no such thing as guarantees in human resources. I mean, you know, when, when it goes with the, you have to understand that the recruitment process is not a, a black and white process. You have humans involved, different humans with different perspectives. Things do change. 
uh, no one can guarantee that you will get a job. You know, you do get a job because you've done a certain amount of things in the right way and it pays off after a while. That's how you get a job, just like everything else. You get a good salary because maybe you've repeated a behavior that led you to a good salary or you um, maybe you network so much that you got the right contacts that get you the job. So your results will be based on your behavior and that only. So there's no magical formula that says if you do this, you know, it's going to take you 15 minutes, you will get a job. Or because you talk to this person, you will get a job. There's no such thing. So just understand that the job search process is uh, quite long in Switzerland. Uh, you have to keep up the morale. That's what will differentiate you from people who give up or uh, end up not working in Switzerland because they couldn't uh, sustain you know, the, the stamina that it takes to go through the process. So that's what's going to make the difference is your motivation, your stamina, your, your extreme uh, dedication to the process and not letting down. That's what is going to bring you results. So if you have questions on cover letter, feel free to post below. Thanks.